Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. For today's video, magsasagot lang tayo ng mga piecewise function problems. This is under grade 11, general mathematics. But before that, shoutout nga pala kay Angelo Andre and Jeffrey. Before we answer the problem, ano nga ba yung piecewise function? A piecewise function is a function consist of two or more pieces of function. So, ganito yung example. So, ganyan. And may, may iba-iba silang mga domain sa right side or yung condition. So, sagot na tayo number one. A computer shop charges 20 pesos per hour for the first two hours. And an additional 10 pesos per hour for each succeeding hour. Represent your computer rental fee using the function RT where T is the number of hours you spend on the computer. So, first Sulat natin yung name ng function, which is RT, the rental fee of the computer with respect to the time you spend. Next, gagawin natin is, gagawa tayo ng ganito. Next, doon na tayo sa first line. A computer shop charges 20 pesos per hour for the first 2 hours. So, ibig sabihin 20 pesos per hour, so ang function niya is 20T. ba? And yung domain lang niya is for 1 and 2 lang, di ba? Kasi ano lang, for the first 2 hours. So, pwede natin ilagay na domain is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 2. Tama. Next, doon na tayo sa sunod. And an additional 10 pesos per hour for each succeeding hour. Dito na tayo papasok sa pangalawang function. Paano gagawin natin? Diba for the first hour, ilan lahat yung gastos? 40 kasi 20 times 2 is 40. So isulat na natin sila dyan. Yan na yung initial para sa dito sa bagong function. Next, additional 10 per succeeding hour daw. And ano daw? Yung domain is t is greater than 2. So ang pwede na lang dito, 3, 4, 5 and pataas. So, ilalagay natin dito is t minus 2. So, bakit naging 10 times t minus 2? Kasi kunwari, ang t natin is 3. Pag sinubstitute mo dyan, 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 10 is 10. So, dumagdag ka lang sa ano nang 10 peso. 10 pesos, which is tama. Sabi baga, additional 10 pesos lang for succeeding hour. Next, kunwari, 4. So, pag nilagay mong 4, we have 2. 2 times 10 is 20. So, dumagdag ng 20. So, ayun. Sana gets nyo. Number 2 na tayo. A chocolate bar costs 35 pesos per piece. However, if you buy more than 10 pieces, they will be marked down to a price of 32 pesos per piece. Make a piecewise function to represent the cost, Cx, P of x, in terms of number of chocolate bars bought. So, ang first na gagawin natin, Sulat natin yung cost function, yung C, C of X. etong X is the number of chocolate bars. Doon na tayo sa first line. A chocolate bar costs 35 pesos per piece. So, ang function niya is 35 times X. Yun. Pero ano yung domain niya? Doon tayo sa next. However, if you buy more than 10 pieces they will be marked down to a price 32 pesos. So, itong more than, sa pangalawang function na yan, ibig sabihin pala, ang domain nito is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 10. And sa pangalawa is, ito na yung more than 10. So, next. However, if you buy more than 10 pieces, they will be marked down to a price of 32 pesos per piece. So, ang function sa pangalawa is 32 X. Yun. Tapos. ba ang simple lang naman? So, ganyan. Uh, tapos. Last problem. A school's fair committee wants to sell t-shirts for their school fair. They found a supplier that sells t-shirt at a price of 175 pesos a piece. But can charge 15,000 for a bulk order of 100 shirts. And 125 pesos for each excess t-shirt after that. How much they will pay if they buy 120 shirts? 
So first, ang gagawin natin is i-determine natin yung function kung ano yan. So let say the cost b c c of t where t is the number of shirts na binili. Next, dun tayo sa pinakaunang line. A school fair committee was ay sa pangalawa na pala. They found a supplier that sells t-shirt at a price of 175 pesos a piece. So isulat na natin. So ang function niya pala is 175 t kasi nga per piece. Next, but can charge 15,000 for a bulk order of 100 t-shirt. So ibig sabihin pala 15,000 is a fix fix na. Yes, that is just for t is equal to 100. So meron na agad tayong isang ano complete na function. So kung ito is t is 100, itong unang function is yes, t is greater than 0 but less than 100. Yon. Next, sana tayo sa end. And 125 pesos for each excess t-shirt after that. So ang itong excess t-shirt, ibig sabihin lang yan is yung t is greater than 100. So 125 pesos daw. So ang function natin is 125 t. So ayun. Pero ang inahanap natin is how much they will pay if they buy 120 shirts. So saan papasok tong 120 shirts? E di, dito sa pangatlong function because t is greater than 100. So itong gagamitin natin function c of t is equal to 125t. Then substitute lang natin, di ba? 100 shirt. 120. Ilan? We have 15,000 pesos. So eto na yung sagot. So ayun guys, sana nakatulong. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, bell, or yung all, and share mo na den para para masaya ako.